We're actually having a lot of fun. No, no, <laughs> So Maserati invited me to Willow Springs today in order to test drive the Rofeo collection. But what I'm really excited about is seeing the MC20 because apparently the prototype is supposed to be there today. I can see Willow already. This is also Paige's first time at Willow Springs. Should I be scared? You're not gonna put me in the car with you, are you? I don't think you're gonna be allowed to today. <laughs> Oh my god, they have a whole hospitality thing set up. Where are we supposed to park? This is nuts. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today's an exciting day because Maserati actually invited me out to their 2021 Trofeo collection release and I'm gonna get to see the MC20 prototype today, but we just got here and I'm already all over these cars. We have the Levante. We have the Ghibli. We have the Quattro Ponte. Which means four door in Italian. Ooh. <laughs> they call it the Royale, which cool thing about the Trofeo collection, you guys, is all of them are equipped with the same engine. It is a Ferrari built twin turbo 3.8 liter, all with 580 horsepower and 540 foot pounds of torque. Insane. And get this, this is actually the first year since 2013 that the Ghibli will be coming with a V8. Prior, they're always a so this is really exciting and I look forward to driving this. Now you guys may be wondering to yourself if you know a little bit about Maserati that didn't they used to offer the same engine in the Quattroporte platform? Well, that was the GTS model. It's not the same. Actually, now it's going to have a little bit more horsepower. While the Levante comes with an all-wheel drive system, the Ghibli and the Quattroporte actually get the sports car treatment with a limited slip, diff, and rear-wheel drive. But the cool thing about the Levante is that when it came out, everyone thought it was a nuts SUV and that's because insane. It's funny, when you actually race it, you can lower the airbags. It lowers the center of gravity, stiffens the suspension, and the all-wheel drive on the track. I can't wait. However, it's basically like a Ferrari SUV, isn't it? Get this. It actually has a Corsa mode, which gives you launch control and opens up the exhaust valves. And uh, I'd say it makes the car a little bit more rowdy of a ride. You guys already know I always drive in track mode. Why wouldn't you? If I got this, I'd be driving in Corsa mode. <laughs> zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Zero to 60 in four seconds. As sick as the Trofeo collection is, what I really want to show you guys and what I want to look at is the MC20 in here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the MC20 in just a second. Right now is actually track time. And track, MC20, track, MC20. You guys already know I'm gonna choose racing on the track. So I'm gonna pick the blue Ghibli to start with because I really wanna hear this twin turbo V8. I really want a driver. I just hope the boys can keep up. <laughs> Maserati 2021. <laughs> About to peel off. Control. Now we're gonna try some slow ones to see the weight transfer of the vehicles. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Now I know 
That wraps up the track portion part of it. But you did a great job. Thank you. Like I said, I'll be the fastest lap we've done all week. You got you too. That was awesome. Um, I just got back from racing the Levante and the Ghibli on the track, and I gotta say, I miss that track. I miss driving, man. You guys, the last time I drove when I was when I was racing that Super Trofeo around the track, and I got some updates on that soon. I'll let you guys know. But however, here today, I want to talk to you guys about the Maseratis, and I will say, going from a race car to street cars, there are some things you need to take into consideration. Like you should probably be easy on the brakes, easy on the steering inputs. Everything needs to be soft. There can't be any sudden movements because it unsettles the car in ways you don't really want to. I think I liked driving the Levante on the track more than I did the Ghibli. The Levante just had stiffer suspension and all-wheel drive versus the Ghibli is a very soft setup, but I get it. We're talking about daily drivers here. However, I had a great time, but I really want to show you guys this MC20 prototype, and I know my hair is crazy because it's really windy today. We got some lunches prepared just by Maserati. I swear your hand is always in the food. <laughs> Cheers. And now, the moment I know you guys have all been waiting for. The MC20, which is short for Maserati Corsa 2020, which is their way of saying that they're getting back into racing, which you guys already know I'm all about. Starting at an MSRP of $210,000, the sky is the limit, depending how much carbon fiber you add. <laughs> so a couple cool things about this supercar that I really want to show you guys and share with you is one, the engine. The engine name is Nettuno, which is Italian for Neptune. You guys saw the Trofeos were actually built by Ferrari. This was an in-house engine built by Maserati themselves. Ferrari did not build this. And get this, you guys, it is a twin turbo, 3.0 liter V6 at 621 horsepower and 538 foot pounds of torque with an eight speed DCT. And get this, you guys, it's under this polycarbonate piece here. You guys can see how they cut the Trident logo into it. And the polycarbonate is actually 40% lighter than glass, which is super sick. Although I can't drive her today, I will say that Maserati says she does zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Now the Natuno utilizes two spark plugs and it is port and direct injected, which is actually F1 technology. It has an 11 to one compression ratio, turboed, is dry sump. It revs to 8K with peak power at 7,500. All of the logos have been updated onto the car. You have the huge Trident logo up in the grill in the front here. And if you guys look at the color of the paint is actually called Bianca Aducci, which is inspired by glaciers. So if you guys look closely, you'll actually see that when the light hits it a certain way, it has a blue hue to it. There's gonna be a total of six different colors released on the initial launch, and this is one of them. There's a lot of carbon fiber on this. These wheels, this design is actually called a bird cage wheel, and they do have an upgraded package for carbon fiber wheels too. Huge blue calipers. I like that they paired this with the blue hues and the white paint and we're also on some bridge stone tires. But you can see the carbon fiber skirts going all through the whole body. It's actually a full carbon fiber tub. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna open it. Here we have the butterfly doors. Being race inspired, I love that factory. It comes with Saybelt seats. That's a super cool touch. I'm gonna get in it real quick. Doing this until they yell at me. Feels really nice in here. When you're comparing this to other supercars, there's a really cool thing about this that I bet you guys didn't know. This is actually best in class when it comes to power density. 207 horsepower per liter. That's just nuts. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to drive this, but Maserati, I know you guys are watching. I wanna drive this. This is the only one in North America. In the USA, this is the only MC20, and unfortunately, it's still pre-production. They do have one in Europe that is drivable, so a Maserati, let a girl know. I'll fly out there so I can get an opportunity to drive this car. Can I drive it first, though? You can ride passenger. I don't like doing that. <laughs> A trunk space. Not too bad. Not too bad. If I were to compare it to the C8, one golf club set. Look at all the carbon fiber accents too. That is sleek. That looks really good in there. Can't complain. And also gotta take a look up front. Maybe a small bottle of nitrous. You can use that for the bottle warmer and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Well, there you have it, guys. I try to give you the most detailed and up close walk around that I could on the car. It's my first time ever seeing it. This is definitely on my bucket list to drive when they're actually in production. I'm sure like any prototype car, they're gonna have some kinks to work out. So we'll just be mindful of that. But aside from that, I mean, on paper, this thing sounds and looks pretty badass. Thank you, Maserati. Whoa, Maserati water bottle. Okay, how, how did they know? Got a couple wine glasses. Maserati. 
Karate hat. There we go. I was really hoping for one of those puffy bomber jackets all of them are wearing. Well, this is fun. I had a great time today. You know, it was kind of an easy episode. I really came out here because I wanted to see the MC20. Like from the bottom of my heart, from everything I've read online, it just sounds so cool and seeing it in person. I had such high expectations and they were honestly met, but we won't really know until we get to drive this. So we're gonna pack up and we're gonna start to head out. But before I head out, there is one thing I really want to show you. Well, I was gonna show you guys on the Ghibli or the Quattro Porte, um, but I will show you the exterior designs of the Trofeo on the Levante. So you guys can see there's the Trofeo badging. It also has the red port vents. You have a little bit of accent color there. The Levante is on 22s. The Ghibli and the Quattro Porte are on 21s. They're actually wrapped in Pirelli tires. You can even see here on the B pillar that they have the flag right there. And then also you have the trident on the back with the red accent. Also, and lastly, one of the major differences you're going to notice is that the Ghibli and the Levante, they have vents with the hood for heat exchange and the Quattro Porte, it doesn't because that's actually the, one of the OG Maseratis and they really wanted to lean on the side of elegance and sexy. But I just want to show you guys those last couple things, but uh, damn, now I'm distracted by this. Gotta love when you're using an M5 as a camera car. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Maserati, thank you so much for having me. I had such a fun time driving around the track and also seeing the prototype car. I'm really excited for 2021 for you guys and what's to come. So thank you for including me in that. I was just leaving, I was just leaving and I saw the cars pull off the track and I just wanted to show you how the Quattro Porte doesn't have the vents in the hood. You have this sleek hood design here. So Maserati didn't want me to leave without giving you a goodie bag too. Oh my god! <laughs> I just did it! Thank you, Maserati! <laughs> they're so sweet! Yeah, they're honestly so nice. Everyone That's was so, so kind. Nice. Oh my god, is mine better than yours? Wait, why do you have a box in your I don't know what to do. Nice job! <laughs> <It's dry. laughs> how she talks about this weeping.